Hey guys, Andrew Chen here, and I've been thinking about this video series for a while, and I want to create a graphical editing tool, because I'm sure some of us need this somewhere, and at least when I was trying to find tutorials on this, I couldn't find any. But in this one, first of all, we'll be talking about the possibilities, you know, the possible libraries that we can build our tool with, and why I went with um, React Comba. But first of all, I want to give you guys an overview because perhaps you will like some of the other tools better. So, first of all, I took a look at the existing more famous web-based graphic and designing tools and I came up with um, BPMN.io Canva, of course, and Figma, which I'm sure is the most popular out of all these, and the, the very, very old Draw.io, which still has a really, really good interface. So, I want to run it through bpmn.io if you don't know what bpmn is it's like a business graph sort of thing actually let me look up the official definition it's a business process model and notation so it has this, this like kind of flow charty look to it and you can drag elements you can connect elements and there's a very precise um like a very scientific measure sort of you know because there's like you know uh every time you drag it's trying to like stick to a grid or coordinate maybe perhaps it's done with like magnet.js which i know can do that um but this is built upon some other tool but that's bpmn dio um there's canva which is more of a graphical editor uh, by that I mean that there's not a lot of um, I don't know how to say this. It's, it's just not a diagram. You know, you're trying to pick, make a picture. You're not trying to make something for informational. So yeah, you can of course let me see drag stuff in here. So my thing is loading really slow because I'm on a VPN but yeah you can drag stuff in here change the color whatsoever there's Figma which I can't open again my wife is really slow and then we have draw.io which is really extensive it has that really Google Google cloud I mean Google um Google Drive applications look to it with you know with all these uh, things and like the overall look you can definitely drag and drop stuff and then again, it seems kind of scientific because it has like all the grid. And then I believe when you drag, it tries to stick to a coordinate. Correct. And of course, you can change stuff here. Um, and yeah, that's the demo of all of the more famous tools on there. And so what are those tools built with is the important question. And um, a little bit, I just researched a little bit, and a bpmn.io was built on top of diagram.js. Draw.io was built on top of mxgraph.js, I should say. And then the other two, the other two, I couldn't find the libraries that that they made their tools with, but they could have created their own libraries or just just didn't mention what tools they used. Okay, this is the part that we probably came for. So what kind of libraries are able, are capable of creating these graphical or diagram editing tools? And the first one is definitely the good old D3.js. And in fact, I found an example. This little um, example that has a really good UI, really cute UI. Um, D3.js is like a, what, what was it called? A data-driven document. So it's mainly for data visualization. Um, actually though for my last application I did build my data visualization stuff with d3.js I can show you guys right now Ooh, it's gonna take a while though with this VPN um, yeah so it's usually uh, made for data visualization it's not made for like creating diagram and tools but for this one for example my old tool you're able to uh, do this and then you know change the nodes let's say it's google and then when i save it's going to show up a google icon yeah that took a while to load but you know you can definitely create diagrams not built for it 
uh, this is built with a D3 tree, I believe, tree model. Yeah, and it's a little bit laggy, but it's okay. Definitely works. So you can definitely build stuff with Conva.js. Um, oh, earlier I didn't say that D3.js might be laggy when you get to creating your own toolbar and having to drag and drop stuff. Um, and the code becomes really, really complex to read, I believe. Because it has a special syntax. And the learning curve is definitely the highest. Um, Conva.js really intuitive in my opinion that's actually the tool that we're going to be building our um, editor with uh, and i'll show you guys what it can do in a second with my own with our own demo diagram.js the thing that was the thing that bpmn.io was built uh, upon with and a little demo of it will be this thing right here like this are, there's an example app and this thing right here looks really neat in my opinion uh, it doesn't have enough documentation though, I believe. I, I couldn't find any earlier. And the only ones I found was like, literally just giving you the code and the example to build something. Yeah. And it has like 500 stars. So perhaps the author doesn't really care about it. Draw 2D. Um, just a random library I saw on this thing plus javascript libraries to create your own diagrams and that one had something that looks like this i think when i researched it a few weeks ago i think it was built upon of d3 although i am not certain yeah and then fabric.js which i'm quite impressed with i was going to go with this you see you can drag and drop shapes you can there's a transformer property built in uh it seems to work very very well with images and it seems to have like yeah a lot of support for images and multi-line text which is really important oh it's not doing what i hope it does i was hoping that it'll like scale down but keeping the ratio um yeah i was gonna go with this but i'll talk about why that we're actually going with Conva.js. And I like to build my applications with React, and I'll be really honest, is because that's like the only frame framework I know. And uh, it's not like I don't want to learn anything else, but I know React already, and React gets the job done. So, like, why not? Of course, if I do have to... So at least when I'm creating my own applications, I go with React. But if time comes and I, and I do need to learn something else, of course, I'll learn something el else. Uh, and I like React, of course. And so Conva.js actually has a version. It's called React Conva. And it makes your things declarative. You can just create, like, there are these Conva.js components. And you can just say you want a circle in the render function, and then you will get a circle. Uh, and the other ones, you might want, you might have to manipulate the stuff a bit more. And the other ones, the other libraries does not have the React supports. So now let's look at a demo of our app. Um, let me reload this. Things are still a little bit buggy because I'm actually not done creating the app myself yet. But you can drag and drop tools from the toolbar. Uh, you can insert text. Right. So there is that scaling down but keeping the ratio aspect of the text. And then this is the thing that I spent hours with, which is the arrow thing. How it like rotates around. And very importantly for customization, people can open this toolbar, which is still a little bit laggy. I mean, a little bit weird as you can see, but you can you know, select colors and stuff. Um, not much more to it, but that's all I have for this video and in the second one We'll be talking about the pattern design and a little bit intro to Conva.js and we can eventually begin building the tool. So thank you